Hey everybody, Darren Cross here. Welcome to the orientation video for Business 149. This is the section in the summer of 2022. Okay, so this is an eight week course. It's gonna be busy. And the purpose of this video is to kind of let you know how things operate so that you're, you're not lost and you get started off on the right foot uh, and you know how you're gonna do things. Okay, so um, this is, I'm in student view here. So this should be how it looks for you. Um, and there, there, of course, will probably be a couple more links here when you're looking at it. And one of the things that I'll tell you is that what you'll find um, in, let me, let me show you how things are organized here. Of course, I have everything open here. What we're going to be doing is you're gonna be using McGraw-Hill Connect and um, we're gonna just work through each one of these weeks, okay? So you have the dates for the weeks. Um, and we're gonna do the stuff that's in each of these weeks, okay? So when you go into a week, what you'll find is right before you see anything, you'll see a little introduction video that just lets you know what we're gonna be doing for the week. Um, it'll be, uh, you know, it, it'll be my thoughts on what we're doing. It'll kind of get your head straight for what's going on. Um, and it'll also be, um, extra things that I think you need to be looking at if I think that the material is is um, uh, a little bit more challenging than it appears. Um, now, one of the things that you also see, so it's organized by chapter. What we're doing is we're covering chapters each week, and you're going to have either two or three chapters. In the weeks where you have three chapters, it gets kind of busy. There's a lot of stuff to do. Um, but what you're doing is I don't want I want you to work on chapter at a time so that you can get that stuff in your head. So what you're going to do is all of these assignments and the smart book assignment is just running you through the material. Now you can I'm going to talk about the uh, the textbook here in a little bit, but it's running you through the material. Then you're going to do some some practice problems, basically, for that chapter. And then you're going to do a quiz and you're going to do that for each chapter. OK. Now, what we don't see here, but what you will see once you've gotten your course is that there will be a discussion board each week. The reason for the discussion board is to get you guys thinking practically about this stuff. I know it's kind of tough to think about math as a discussion board. It's like, so tell me what you think about fractions. Do you love them? It's not really that. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to provide a place where you can talk about your experience that week, have other classmates talk about your experience that week, and then um, I can interact with you about your experience that week with how you learned, what your challenges were, how to think about things and that kind of stuff. So uh, you, will, you will see that discussion board here once you, you, you've already seen it if you've, if you've been in the course, okay? And that's how every chapter or every week works, right? So you're just gonna work through the chapters. You're gonna do the smart book assignments. Then you're gonna do the drill and word problems. These are practice problems. This is basically your homework. And then you're gonna do the quiz. Now, here's the thing. Every proctoring um, thing that there is for the quiz that doesn't cost you money is being used. The idea is that I want you to actually work these on your own so you can't, you know, right click or, you know, um, do anything crazy. You only have access to a whiteboard and a calculator on your on your computer. OK, um, now the other side of that is you need to be using um, the McGraw Hill materials right so all of the assignments are coming through mcgraw hill except for the discussion boards and so the first thing that you need to do before getting into this is you need to actually register for the mcgraw hill course so when you click in here um the section should already be here so you just click begin and um you start here this says that registration is not open because it's before the it's before the time that i set on the course but by the time you see this it will be so you go here to connect and you just register, okay? So this section is already here. You're just registering using your um, KC credentials, all right? And then it will let you into the, um, into the actual section. Now, um, let me see here. One of the things that I wanna let you know is as you, um, I, I, I taught this course for KC um, last semester. I've taught it probably 50 times at uh, other universities but or other colleges but um last last semester was the first time i taught this online it was a bit of a challenge because i like looking at eyes to make sure that people understand me and i'm you know i found that i'm lecturing and it's super long and i'm like i don't i think i may have wasted my time so 
what I want you to do is I want you to rely on the book. So when you go and look at the, um, you're in your course, you'll have the opportunity to actually, you, you'll see your textbook, right? And then you can go to anything in the textbook. You can actually go through the textbook. Um, and as you go through the chapters, I want you to start as if it were your textbook, right? So I want you to go through the chapters. Like for instance, what you'll see, this is chapter one. And when you go through, what you'll find is there's some material here and it's great. But as you work through it, what's happening is um, they're giving you some information. And of course, you have extra things that can, um, you know, that helps you. If you see something that's bolded, it gives you extra stuff um, that could be useful for you. And you work through the course as if it were a textbook, right? So you just read what you're supposed to read for, for that sec or for that week, okay? Then what you'll find is that at the end of every um, lesson, basically, there is an extra video that kind of explains what's going on there. I would use these videos, okay? These videos are basically your lecture videos. Um, so make sure that you use those in order to work through the course. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, there, there are some things that I kind of disagree with here and there. So I'll have extra resources in the chapter for those chapters that I think need them. So it's like, hey, here's a helpful hint for this. And it'll be a video of me explaining, you know, my way of working through um, whatever that deal is, okay? So... Um, working down here, you'll find everything you need to know uh, in the course here. So on the home page, this is everything about this course and everything about me, right? So, oh, my picture's not here for some reason on mine, but um, this is everything about the course, okay? If there are any announcements, if there's anything that I need to announce to the entire class, of course, I will put them in announcements. If you email me about an issue and, I, and I'm getting a lot of emails or a couple of emails from people, um, or if you email me about something that I know it uh, affects everyone, then what I'll do is I'll look at it, I'll fix it, and I'll do an announcement. So I may not respond directly to you, okay? But if not, if it's something that's particular to you, then I will respond to you, and I will typically respond within 24 hours. So going back, though, to this homepage, I want to I point you to something. So this is my um, cell phone number. And I'm telling you right now, um, this is just something I've been teaching for 20 something years now. And this is just something that I'm used to. I give my cell phone number out to everyone. You, you're welcome to email me. You can email me through, through the, the course shell. The problem is we're relying on that technology to work every time. And this last semester, um, I was getting emails and I didn't realize it. So people were expecting responses from me. So if you have emailed me and I haven't responded in 24 hours, it's a safe assumption that technology has failed us. So go ahead and text me, or you can text me right off the bat. Now, here's the thing. If you call me, I'm gonna ignore you because I don't know if you're an IRS tech scam or a Microsoft tech scam. And um, the thing is, if you want something, just text me and you can say, hey, this is so-and-so from the math class at KC. Tell me where you are because I'm teaching a couple of places. Um, and if it's an easy thing, say, hey, are we are we supposed to turn this in Sunday? You know, that's that's if you can if you can include the question in there, that's great. If it's going to be something that requires a richer conversation, then I might say, hey, can I call you tomorrow? And we'll we'll have a conversation about this. I suspect that I'm going to need to talk to a couple of you um, over the course of the semester because um, sometimes this stuff gets challenging. What I want you to do is. Don't be afraid to text me, and I don't care what time it is. If you're working on homework at 10 o'clock at night, text me. I might, I might be available. Um, if I'm not, I'll respond in the morning. But it, take that chance, and maybe I, can, maybe I can help you work through something so you don't have to hold up your stuff because of me. Okay? So make sure that you're using that. And I will, like I said, I will respond within 24 hours, um, and I'll try to... Uh, I'll, I'll try to be as complete as possible if it's on text, but we may it may require a conversation. That said, if you are having challenges with anything and you just want to work through it, um, just let me know, hey, I'd like to spend some time with you this week. 
Let me know your availability, and then I'll set up a Zoom session, and we can work through whatever challenges you're having, okay? Um, I want you to think about yourself. Don't think about my schedule. I want you to just think about yourself, and I'll work the rest out, okay? Um, now, going through the modules, this is where you'll find all of the weeks that, that we're going to be doing. Uh, and I'll let you know that we are going to have stuff in every single week except for week eight. I haven't populated this yet, but week eight will just be the catch-up week. You will have one final discussion board, which is kind of a course reflection discussion board, but everything in week eight is going to be catching up from all of the stuff. Now, you there are due dates on all of the stuff. I'm telling you, I, I'm not going to penalize you um, for turning things in late, even a quiz, but I want to strongly, strongly encourage you to turn things in by the due date. The reason why is because I've chunked them nicely, but it is, it is kind of busy. So um, if you you know, get a couple of weeks behind, it's going to be tough for you to catch up in this eight weeks, right? So I want you to, to adhere to those due dates so that you can kind of keep a good pace for yourself. That said, if it's Sunday night and you just got off work or you're just exhausted or you don't feel well and you and you just want to turn it in tomorrow, that's fine. You don't you don't even have to um, you don't even have to let me know um, if you are having some issues like you're going in the hospital or there's some big thing happening and you're going to be, you know, several days later, or a week late, then just let me know, hey, I'm having this issue. I am working on stuff. Because what's happening is I'm always um, just kind of looking at stuff to see if people are making progress and moving and logging in and things like that. And here in a, in a, in a week or so, I have to, uh, a week or so into the course, I have to actually decide if people are making progress and should I drop them from the course or not. So just let me know what you're doing so that I know that things are progressing, okay? Now, um, as we as we go through stuff, you'll find the, the simple syllabus version here, but I'll also have a version of the syllabus um, right here, okay? So again, going back into the modules, what you're gonna do is just work through the chapters, all right? And these, uh, what you'll see is that um, you just have uh, a few points for these assignments. These assignments are designed to help you get the practice you need, and then this is actually what I would call your test for the assignment, okay? These are timed. Um, you do have enough time to complete all of the stuff, um, but the thing is um, I, I wanted to time you so that you're not trying to Google and all kinds of stuff like that, right? So the point is I want you to actually take this test fairly. What I will tell you is if you work hard and you do the stuff you're supposed to be uh, doing week after week, I'm not going to let you fail. I will come up with a way to help you pass that course as long as you're working hard. OK, so uh, even if it's you know, if you fail every test, um, you know, I'll come up with some kind of a solution where maybe I allow you to make some test corrections or something like that, or I might curb at the end of the class. But. I can tell you that if you if you're willing to work hard and you and you want to um, dig in and you you reach out to me with problems, I will get you through the course. So if you're panicked about math, I I think the stuff is pretty easy, but there are some concepts later on that are challenging. Um, but if you are panicked about stuff, just relax. We're gonna be fine. If you have any challenges at all, all you have to do is reach out to me. Okay. So I think that's it. Um, the first thing you're going to do is uh, go into week one. You're going to look at what you'll see here is an introduction to week one. Watch that introduction video and then just get started on stuff. And that's that's what you'll do week after week. OK, so good luck. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. Take care, everybody.